Hello everybody, welcome to the Gyrocopter Flying Club. Subscribe and select alerts to stay up to date with the daily content. In this film, we look at Aviomania gyroplanes from Cyprus. Founded by aeronautical engineer Nicholas Karolides, unsatisfied with gyroplanes he'd flown, decided to design and build his own, with a focus upon better aerodynamics and the aim to have no throttle pitch coupling by centerline thrust. So once trimmed, you can make aggressive throttle changes with no effect on pitch stability. Increasing the throttle will give you a gentle climb, reducing the throttle, and the aircraft descends gently with no yaw, pitch or roll changes. One interesting design element is what Aviomania call the active tail design. Most gyroplanes have a vertical tail that is covered by the lower half of the propeller diameter, and a horizontal stabiliser placed low on the keel. Although this design is good for reducing pilot-induced oscillation, it doesn't offer any torque or power pushover compensation. It also requires rudder corrections with power changes, which is especially noticeable during takeoff and landing. Aviomania's design has the vertical tail covered by 75% of the propeller diameter with the horizontal stabiliser positioned 60% in the prop wash and 40% in free air. Most engine torque and yaw tendencies are eliminated. The active tail design even works in low G situations and is not affected by power changes, making the aircraft easier and more forgiving to fly, take off and land. All aircraft have aluminium rotor blades with no life limit and a crash resistant fuel cell. Stability on the ground is improved with wide track undercarriage and there's also a castering nose wheel which I know is a focus for pilots in the US. Launched onto the market in 2009 with quick build kit and ready to fly options with kits coming to the US since 2010. There are currently three models available all with a variety of engine options ranging from Rotax 582 two-stroke power to Rotax 9 series 4 stroke power, including a 915 option for the two seater, which at 75,000 euros, including tax, seems something of a bargain. Pricing is competitive with European pricing significantly below Auto Gyro or Magni product for the fully built options. The open GS1B is from 39,000 euros, including tax and the GS2A Genesis Duo is from €56,000 including tax, both with Rotax 912 power. There's also this, the Genesis Sport, which is an enclosed single seater, which is around €5,000 additional to the open single seater. The aircraft are available worldwide, except, unsurprisingly, the UK, Although I am aware of a project that is looking at the design and engineering of the single seater with Rotax 912 power in conjunction with the LAA. The outcome of that will be to allow the model into the UK market.